Today it's pretty hot for northern Minnesota. It's pushing 95 degrees. Okay, what do I got? I got my wallet. I'm good. Dude, this thing actually smells so good. Cedar scent. It smells like a sauna in here. That's just what it is today. A dang sauna. I sure wish I had something to cool me down. It's my first time taking this thing out in a while. There's lots of noises. Oh, also you can secure one of these for yourself at mapmated.com. Us northern Minnesotans aren't really built for heat. In the winter, it's pretty in character for me to go camping in cold weather. And I haven't done that many videos where I've gone camping in hot weather. I did end up doing one video last year that actually did pretty well. Why don't you work as seen on TV not working? Although the product worked and didn't break, it didn't really necessarily cool down the uh, back of the camper as I was hoping it would. There's absolutely no shortage of people on YouTube making their own swamp coolers. I gotta say, some are pretty creative. So today, I'm planning on making my own, seeing if it works any better. <laughs> I just passed the kids and they were like, what is that? I swear, man, I would not get any more attention if I drove a supercar. This this thing, this thing's a neck breaker for sure. All right, we're now arriving at the one store that this car probably belongs at, Walmart. <laughs> I finished it myself, I bought it with the camper on it. Yeah. It didn't come with the, it didn't have a roof on it and it didn't have canvas on it when I bought it. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Glad you got a kick out of it. Have a good one, guys. So today I'm gonna be making my own swamp cooler in the Walmart parking lot. First, I gotta find myself a cooler, a lot of ice and something to blow it all at myself with, so I'm a fan. You. I have an order for Maverick. And what spot are you I'm in uh, number seven. Ugh. How's it going? Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. It's 91 degrees. Right now, I'm going to go find our camp spot. Party. All right, let's see if this thing still sets up the same. If it's gonna be difficult. Okay, there's one side. Nice. Tell you what, I'm glad it's not windy out because Bugless. Bugless would not do well in the wind. Is Bugless a good name or is Doug the Bug the better name? Bugless or Douglas? I haven't decided yet. Bugless is pretty good though. 
There you go. All set up. Oh, it's hot in here. Get these vents open now. Before I start creating in this video, I need to give a big thank you to the sponsor of this video for their new creator series, and that's MSI. This is the Z16P, and it's the new MSI laptop for creators. This laptop features a brand new unibody design with CNC aluminum chassis and a lunar gray color. It's very rare to see a laptop perfectly balanced with the performance end of the design. One of my favorite features is this light up keyboard. It looks like it's like kind of just dancing and glowing at you. And although I personally only film all of my videos on my phone, this computer could easily handle editing 8K footage, which is crazy to me because it's so lightweight and small. This laptop features a true pixel display, which ensures crystal clear image and color accuracy. Also fair to mention that it's touchscreen and supports the option of using pen touch. With Wi-Fi 6E and a large battery capacity, the Creator Z16P is a great option for taking on road trips or long business trips. Thanks again to MSI for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out their new Creator line of laptops, it'll be in the description below. All right. It is 89 degrees inside of here. I'm gonna make my swamp cooler. I'm gonna try to cool it down. <clears throat> so, here we've just got like a normal cooler, an igloo cool cooler. And after I'm done with it, this is gonna be a swamp cooler. I need to fasten my things to it, so I'm going to put this here. Okay. And then, where's my fan? There's my fan. And then... What you want to do, whoa, let's get yourself a drill. Oh, hello. And then we're gonna go on the edge. Oops, ruined my cooler. We're gonna do another one. Bam, and then, and take a jigsaw and cut out that parameter. Nice. One thing down. It's not very pretty, is it? So essentially what's gonna happen here is we're gonna plug the fan in. Should blow air in onto the ice and then it should blow cold air out. Or at least that's, that's what swamp coolers are supposed to do. Hopefully it works. Where's this thing gonna go? Right here? Probably. It is so hot in here right now. 89 degrees. It's only 87 outside right now, but in here it's kind of cooking. We're gonna be using the Jackery to power everything tonight. This is their new 2000 size. It's got four plugins, so I'll be able to plug my LEDs in too. Let's do that. Now it's party time. Moment of truth. Will it work? Okay, our fan is officially running and our swamp cooler should be working. 
So it's cooling off a little bit inside and outside. It's 82 right now, 86 inside. I'm gonna set this right here and we'll see in real time if that goes down or not. You can feel the cold air coming out. It definitely feels colder. Will it actually make life in here nicer? That's the question. I did buy some ribbon so you can see that there is indeed air coming out of there. It's actually pretty strong. Still not reading any different temperature on the uh, on the gauge here, but maybe if I set it right here. Is that cheating? Might be cheating. Should I shut all this? I shut up all the vents and closed the door now. It's still pretty hot in here, but all that's left to do is sit and wait. So that's what I'm gonna do, Just sit and wait. All right, it's been about 30 minutes now, and it's still, how is this possible? It's 87 inside still. Brother, it's colder outside by like 10 degrees. Well, it's not looking good so far, buddy. Well, I don't really think it's gonna get much, much colder in there from that swamp cooler. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be cooking outside tonight. Out of all the places I've been, this still feels like home. I mean, it's just, that's gorgeous. How you doing? Not too bad, how are you? Good. Hey, just check and see what the game plan is here tonight. The area's open until 10, but there's no camping at public access. Open until 10, okay. I was hoping to spend the night, but if it's, there's no camping, I'll have to leave. I can't have you camp at a public access. Okay. Otherwise, I'll get complaints all night long. Okay. What is that, though? <laughs> it's a 2002 Volkswagen Beetle with a, with a custom topper on it. You can hang out till 10, but when it comes to it, no drinking, no party, or no yeah, drinking, no drink camping, no shooting, like, yeah. or any of that stuff yeah. in a public access. Sounds so, good. All right. You have a lovely night. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh-oh. We're getting kicked out. He said that I need to get out of here. If you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I think I'm staying here tonight. I'm sorry. If you come back and kick me out, you come back and kick me out. Been outside for a bit and opening the door it's 81 degrees in here so it went down six degrees i think that's because the door is open now i'm going to open the bag of ice now that i'm not gonna have meat in there just to uh entertain the people that say what they're gonna say because it wasn't on the direct ice we'll give it a try and i'll put this right here Let's see if it works So on the menu tonight, we've got gnocchi, crushed tomatoes, and some spicy Italian sausage. Somebody submitted this to me on the website. If you guys forgot, you guys can submit recipes to me at madmada.com. There's a uh, contact us part where you can fill out something to 
drop a recipe. This person didn't leave a story or their name or really much of anything except for the recipe, but it sounded good, so that's what we're making tonight. I got a big can of crushed tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna have to cook my gnocchi in the tomato sauce. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna add some pepper. Add a little bit of water in here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this works. Now we wait patiently. Bye, son. All right. What? It's colder in here now. It's 73 degrees instead of 81. Looks like this thing's finally putting in some work. All right, well, I will be the first to admit it's either that there was a little bit of a learning curve and I needed to take the ice out first. What I mean by that is I need to take the ice out of the bag or uh, it's just because it is now dark outside. Swampy feels like he's pushing more cold air. I don't know, but this, look at this. Oh, good lord. I have this extra fan that I usually use to keep cool in here. I'm just going to blow it up so then the air is going this way and it blows up and hopefully makes it nice and cool in here. Definitely feels like kind of damp. All right, let's give this a go. Let's call him a name. Nice pillowy pieces of gnocchi. Let's see if it's hopefully they cooked well. I'm just kidding, I totally know they did because I've been testing them. Normally when I make gnocchi or go for gnocchi, I make like a creamy like mushroom sauce. And anytime you cook with cream, it just tends to make things just a little bit more complicated. But you get some like really nice earthy tones. This is uh this is not bad either. Also something about this feels a little nicer than just throwing a sauce bucket or ragu on. Mm. In high school, I had a friend, an Italian exchange student friend. He said how he usually makes red sauce is just by doing the same thing, crushed tomatoes and just throwing the herbs in. I was really surprised to hear that because I was like, really, it's that simple? It's what you guys do. <laughs> Miss you, Enzo, if you're watching this give it like a 8 out of 10. It's not that spicy, maybe a little bit. It's hot, hot. It literally just got off the stove. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I ate all of the gnocchi out of there. 
Because I got drilled so hard last time by people saying, oh, you can't have the windows open. All right, well, the windows are freaking shut, man. They're shut. Everything's shut. And it's still hotter in here. It's still 75 degrees in here with this thing going, so I'm opening up vents. I don't care. The heck with all you guys. It's 63 outside, so we gotta just get some air moving in here. Just to let you know, if uh, you ever get a comment on this video or on Facebook or anything of somebody pretending to be me on like Telegram or on like a live chat or something, odds are it's not me. Um, I would never ask anybody for money or say that I'm giving away free iPhones and stuff. I mean, if I do something like that, you'll hear about it in a video or on my real Instagram page. Please don't fall for these tricks. Thank you. It is long past my bedtime. I'm going to sleep. See you in the morning. Uh, I don't want to kiss you. You're a disappointment. Oh yeah, all that ice is melted. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Fold and talk, baby. Douglas and I are hitting the old county road again. I'm gonna call that a successful camping night for me and not for the swamp cooler. Definitely a lot other ways to stay cool during the summer. Let me know if you guys have any ideas or things that you wanna see in the comments down below. And as always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on bugging. <laughs>